Okay? Welcome to Easy Tech Solution. My name is Michael. So, in this particular video today, I will be um, showing you everything you need to know about SMM website and also how you can create your own SMM website and start making money online. Okay? So, I know um, most of you may, might be wondering what is SMM website. So the word SMM stands for Social Media Marketing, all right? So it's a, a website where you're able to sell um, like social media followers such as Instagram like, Instagram followers, we have a YouTube subscribers, YouTube watch hour, YouTube likes, YouTube comments, we have a TikTok followers, TikToks and like, TikTok views, any type of social media um, services at all that you want. In this particular uh, SMM website, this, this kind of website that you're able to purchase those services, okay? So in this um, particular video I'm um, dropping, I'll be showing you how to create your own SMM website and also are you able to link your own, your SMM website to other, um, SMM, other SMM websites and then start selling their own services, okay? You were able to add your own percentage. Let's say, for example, the way um, this particular SMM website works is that, let's say you, um, the particular um, supplier, the vendor that you, are, that you link your website to is selling their services for $10, okay? So you can decide to add 50% uh, profit to your own services, okay? Let's say 50% now will be, um, let's say $15. So in their own website, this, that particular services will be selling for ten dollar but when um, a user visits your own website when they will be buying such services for fifteen dollars so that five dollar on top with, with, is for you okay so i will show you how to um, set up the website how to um link your your sma website to a particular vendor and start making cool cash okay you don't need to stress yourself there's no there's no more stress okay the only thing that you need to do is to collect payments, all right? So I'm, I will be showing you how to set up a um, payment method on this particular website also. It's very easy. Everything is automatic, okay? What is, um, what the, what the, um, your website will do is that whenever a user order uh, a particular services on your website, um, automatically your website will, re, your website will re order such services from your vendor, okay? So let's say, for example, a user need a, um, um, social, social media boost, let's say Instagram followers, then it's paying um, $15 on your own website, okay? Then your website, you have to reorder such um, services, okay? So, and you will order it for um, $10. So, therefore, the $5, $5 on top is yours, okay? So, I will show you on the various steps you need to do to start making cool cash online, okay? So this, um, as you can see right now, this, um, this, um, um, how SMM website look, okay? So this is uh, the, the login session. This is the home page of this particular SMM website that we'll be using for this um, training. I'll be going into the user dashboard and the admin dashboard so that we'll see how everything looks, okay? So first of all, let's log in as a, as a user. Okay, so let's log in as a user. Okay, so this is how the um, user dashboard look, okay? So as you can see, we said a completed order, this is my username, then we have a completed order 57, then spend balance um, 50, and we have a zero error, then we have um, um, your account balance, we have a 37,000, sorry, 375,000, yeah, okay? So I will be showing you how you're able to manage your uh, user's account from the administration of the website. So this is the uh, user session. So this is where a particular user, once they register, this is where they're able to select the particular services they want, okay? So this is where they're able to select the particular service, then they will add their um, social media link, then we have the quantity, then we we'll click on it. Uh, so this is the, the total amount that the user will pay with appear here, that is the total charge. Then the user will have to click on order now, all right? So this is where the user will place order for uh, whichever services he or she 
or want to buy on your website then we have the uh, orders okay in this particular session this particular account now have not made any order that's why this particular session is showing empty okay once a user start making order the other history will be piling up in this uh, area okay then we have uh, services okay so this is where the user will be able to see all the services that um th that you offer on your website and the price is also okay so the price list will be showing here then we have an uh, ad form so this is where a user will be able to add forms to his or her account okay so you can add a uh, different payment there are different payment methods that you can select from you can add from the admin dashboard okay so those are the ones that i, I currently activate on it you can add a um, crypto payment method you can add a um, um, perfect money you can add a um, paper okay so this is where a user able to fund his or her account so whichever payment method you set up that's where the user will make payment to then you're able to receive such payments to process his or her order okay then we have a ticket okay this is the ticket session in case a particular user is having um, trouble, is having challenges with in, um, in your on your website, so this is where they're able to uh, communicate with the admin. Okay, so the user will be able to send message in this particular area, then the admin will um, respond to such a um, message. All right. So we have the API. All right. So this API is um, is used to link uh, maybe your website. So, uh, okay, okay, let me just keep this session for now. We'll talk about a API key properly later, all right? Then we have a child panel, so I will have to skip this session to here. So we'll talk about this later as this particular um, training proceeds. Then we have the referral, we have a terms of condition, um, we have the terms and then we have the update, all right? So those are the um, things that you will see from the um, user dashboard okay so then let's go over to the admin dashboard and let me show you how um awesome the admin dashboard look okay so i'll just log in as the admin right now okay so this is the this is the admin um, dashboard so this is how the admin dashboard looks so in this particular session of the admin dashboard there are different um, um, function. There are different things you can actually perform here. So there are a lot of things you can do in this uh, particular admin dashboard. Okay. So in this session, this is where you're able to manage all the activities of the website. Everything that will be going on from the user dashboard. This is where you're able to manage um, them. Okay. So first of all, okay. So let's once you click on this particular user session here, you will see all register user will be showing. In this area okay as you can see we have only two users registered on this particular website now all right so in this um, session this is where you see all the services okay this is where you're able to update all the services that you want the user to purchase on your website so you're able to um, see all the services you're able to up update prices okay so you can update prices from this um, particular session then you can Okay, you can synchronize and um, log, then you can bulk update. So you can do a lot of things on this um, particular um, service session of your website. So you can also, this is where you're able to add, um, let's say you can able to import um, services from other websites. So we we'll go into this later as time um, goes on. So let me skip this session for now. Okay, then we have an um, order. So in this particular session, this is where you're able to see all the order that your um, users place on your website. Okay, so we have an order, we have all order, we have an 80 for waiting for Chrome, we have a pending order, we have a processing, we have the progress, completed, butter, cancel, and phase. Okay, so these are this is the area where you're able to see all the um, orders and status, okay, all the order that your user have placed on your website, and then um, also their uh, current and uh, status okay then we have them um, okay okay let me then we have uh, the payment session we have the payment session so this is where you're able to confirm users and um, payment all right and uh, also if you want to add payment to uh, a particular user account manually this is where you're able to add uh, payment to their account all you need to do is to 
type in their username, then the amount. Then if, if you want to add to the account or you want to remove, then you have to select it here also. Then you select the payment method, okay? The payment method that the user used to uh, make the payment, okay? Maybe, for example, a particular user make a payment and it did not automatically appear on his or her account, okay? So you can manually add payment to a particular user account here also. Then we have, um, we have um, okay, ticket. All right, so in case a user um, sent a ticket, you know, I showed you the ticket and session here earlier. So in case a user have a particular complaint, so this is where you're able to um, see all, um, all the users and tickets and you're able to respond to them here also, all right? Then we have log, okay? You, have, you will see all the um, activities, all the login activities of a particular user, all right? So you see all their all the um, login activity, their IP address, and their log, um, their um, history also. So you see the date that a particular user logging into the account, okay? So this is where you're able to monitor all the user um, activities on your website. Then in this particular session, we have the um, additional, okay? We have the promotion. So in case you want to like, um, you have an, an announcement, so this is where you're able to um, see, um, this is where you're able to, okay. Okay, so we have um, this um, addition, additional features of the website, okay? So those are various updates that you, you can also manipulate from the admin dashboard. Then over here also we have the appearance. We have the appearance, okay? So this is where you're able to change the um, look of the website. So let's say for example, as you can, let me log out. Okay, so as you can see, we are using this, this particular um, template now. So you can decide to change to this particular one. Then you can also change the color to whichever color you want, okay? So that's um, about the um, appearance here, so which is theme. Okay, then we have an extra appearance also. We have an extra ap appearance. So in this particular session, this is where you're able to um, activate WhatsApp button, okay? So as you can see right here now, WhatsApp is showing here, okay? So, but it's currently not active. So this is where you're able to activate um, WhatsApp button. So you can activate WhatsApp bus button then. We have, um, okay, we have WhatsApp button, we have uh, WhatsApp, number, uh, WhatsApp number. So this is where you're able to add your WhatsApp number, all right? So then we have a WhatsApp auto message. So you can decide to add a particular message that you want your Okay, so this way you're able to add a particular message that you want your um, client to automatically receive once they click on the WhatsApp button on your website. Then in this session also, we have the team background image. So you can be able to upload a um, team background image also in this um, particular session. Then we have the um, Telegram button. So you're able to um, activate Telegram button on your website also, or you can um, deactivate, okay? Once you click on passive, which means um, Telegram is not active on this uh, particular website right now. So that's why you are seeing Telegram not showing uh, on the site, all right? So you're able to select the session you want the Telegram to appear. You said that left or right. Okay, so that's how to go about that. Then we have uh, pages. 